Welcome back to the channel. My name is Douglas and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create a bit of a softer piano sound in the Yamaha YC. So I'm of the opinion that while it cuts through really nice, Sometimes it's just a little bit too much. So I play at church a lot. And let's say we're coming to the end of the song. Going into a prayer or some sort of benediction, I wanna play a little bit of soft piano and kind of carry that. It's just a little too harsh for what I use. And so what I would like to do is show you, number one, how to make this piano a bit softer. There's a few ways we can do it. I'm gonna cover a couple of my favorites here, and then we're gonna save it to a live set. So first let's go over to a blank live set here. So 18.1 is a blank live set for me. And anything within this kind of black background here for the live set applies to our live set. So let's add a little bit of reverb to our piano sound here. I'm going to turn on my res. Let's go in here and find our uh, res dynamic damper resonance. There we go. We're going to bring that Bring the reverb back just a little. Let's go ahead and store that to our 18.1 slot. So we're gonna just hit enter, that's gonna store it. That way, let's say we go to this one. And we come back. All of our settings are stored right to here. So the first thing I wanna do though is change from a knit sound. So we're gonna go to settings, Scroll down to name. Make sure that you're on the live set you wanna rename. And we can use one and two to move. You'll see the little line under our letters here. Um, so we're gonna come all the way over to here and we're going to delete these all the way back. And then we're gonna scroll here and we're gonna call this, we'll just call it piano and then our a soft piano we'll call soft piano. And then push down, we're gonna say store and store again, it's putting it in this live set 18.1 slot. That says completed, and if we look at this now, we've got our piano saved with our damper, res, and our reverb on a little bit there, and pretty much nothing else, volume on full. So now what we wanna do is we wanna take this piano sound, we wanna make it a soft piano sound. Now there's a master equalizer on the keyboard that you could leverage, but then that affects everything. We don't really wanna use that in this case, but instead we've got this tone knob and this filter knob right here. So let's first go with the tone. So if we play a chord here, we bring this back all the way to zero. Let's bring it all the way to 127. You can see that alone brings us back um, so we have a bit of a softer sound. So again, let's bring it back to where it was. I think it was around uh, the middle there. That's getting there. So that's soft enough for me. Let's put a little more reverb in there. Let's bring the depth of our damper res up just a little bit as well. Now if we wanna make this even softer, we can take our filter knob, which is again at about half, 
And watch what happens as we start to bring that down. And I just realized it's on EQ, not filter. So let's switch this. Now, obviously that's too much if we brought it all the way up. But if we just bring that back just a little bit, maybe to 50. Let's bring that back a touch more, 40. Let's go ahead and store that to our uh, live set number two. So that's completed. So we've got our soft, and then our normal. So let's simulate this in the context of a song that maybe you're ending and going into a softer part. Um, Come back to our normal one. Now, because the Yamaha YC has seamless transitions, except for the sustain pedal. Haven't quite figured that one out. So I always have to keep that in mind that I have to quickly trigger the sustain. Just takes a little getting used to. That is pretty cool. So I covered a couple things there. What we did is we used the tone and the filter on our piano, as well as bringing in some effects and making those a little bit different. You'll notice less reverb on the full one and then less uh, damper res as well. And the reason being is I think for the soft piano, I like a little bit more effect in there because this is usually sitting behind someone talking or praying um, or even over someone uh, playing another instrument like a guitar solo or something like that. And I want to kind of dial myself back a little bit because I have a tendency to kind of hammer on the keys. So again, your tweaks may be a little different depending on how you play and the context you want to use it in. But that should give you an idea of how you can take the piano sound and you can kind of draw that back and subdue that a little. That way it's not so bright as the normal one, which is great. It cuts through in a band really well. Um, but sometimes I just want that softer piano. So hopefully this video is helpful for you, but if you have any questions, throw those down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching. Stay inspired and keep making that music.